Charlie also asked Assad if he believes Washington will go ahead with military action against his country. There is an intense discussion going on about all the things we're talking about yeah. in Washington, where if there's a strike, it will emanate from the United States' decision to do this. What do you want to say in this very important week in America mm -hmm. and in Washington to the American people, mm -hmm. to members of Congress, uh, to the President of the United States? Uh, I think the most important part of this now is, uh, let's say, the American people. But the, the polls show that mo the majority now don't uh, want a war anywhere, not only against Syria. But uh, the Congress is going to vote uh, about this in a few days. And I think the Congress is elected by the people and represent the people and work for their interests. The first question that they should ask themselves, what do wars give America since Vietnam till now? Nothing. No political gain, no economic gain, no good reputation. The United States is at all low time. The credibility is at all low, all time low. Uh, the, so this war is against the interests of the United States. Why? First of all, because this is the war that is going to support Al Qaeda and the same people that uh, kill Americans in the 11th uh, of September. The second thing that we all want to tell to, to the Congress that they should ask, and that's what we expect. We expect them to ask this administration about the evidence that they have regarding the chemical story and allegations that they presented. I wouldn't tell the, uh, the president or any other official because we were disappointed by their behavior recently because we expected this administration different from Bush's uh, administration. They are adopting the same uh, doctrine with different accessories. That's it. So we expect, if we want to expect something for the, from this administration, is not to be weak, to be strong, to say that we don't have evidence, that we have to obey uh, the international law, that we have to go back to the Security Council and the United Nations. The question remains, what can you say to the president who believes chemical weapons were used and were used by your government, mm. that this will not happen again? I will tell you very simply, present what you have as evidence to the, to the public. Be transparent. When and you, if he does? If he does. If he presents that evidence? This is where you can discuss the evidence, but he doesn't have. He didn't present it because he doesn't have. Kerry doesn't have. No one in your administration have. If they had it, they would have presented it to you as no. media for the, for they have, the first they, day. They have presented it to the Congress. Nothing. They Nothing have was shown presented. the Congress what they have and the evidence they have from satellites, intercepted messages, and the like. Nothing and presented. Nothing has been presented so far. They have presented it to the Congress, sir. You, you're a reporter. Get, get the, uh, this uh, uh, evidence well, and show it to the, to the public in your country. They're presenting, we, it to we the, them. they're presenting it to the public representative. You don't show your evidence and what you're doing and your plans to, to other people that within your own council. They're so, showing it to the people's representative so uh, who to. have to vote on yeah. an authorization to strike. And if they don't find the evidence sufficient. First of all, we have the president, president of uh, Colin Powell 10 years ago. When he showed the evidence, it was false and it was forged. This is first. Second, you want me to believe American evidence and don't believe the indication that we have. We live here.